It has been two decades since Scott Peterson was convicted in the murders of his wife and unborn child. Peterson is currently serving a life sentence for the double murders, but the LA Innocence Project recently said it's re-examining this case and asking a court to let them test for new evidence. And since that news broke, more people have come forward with evidence they say could help Peterson get a new trial. Correspondent Laura Engel is live in New York. Laura, you've been following this case for a long time. And now there's word about a orange van that was set on fire. What can you tell us? Hi, Nicole. You know, this particular orange van in question and the information about the fire in the van, mattress, and some possible DNA on that mattress is new to many of us who covered the Scott Peterson case extensively 20 years ago. Now, there were reports of a van spotted across the street from Scott and Lacey Peterson's Modesto home around the time she vanished on Christmas Eve 2002. Police tracked down a different van that was checked out in an alley in the airport district of Modesto and cleared by the Department of Justice at the time. Now, yesterday, a report came out quoting a former California fire official who claimed he investigated this burnt out van you see on your screen. It's an orange van that had a mattress in the back and possible blood evidence or DNA evidence that he believes should be checked out as new evidence in the case. His name is Brian Spitalski, who was a former investigator with the Modesto Fire Department, and he told ABC News the van was found on Christmas Day, 2002. To, that's the day after Lacey vanished, located in a different alley at the airport district of Modesto. Now, in a surprise move last week, as we've been reporting, the Los Angeles Innocence Project filed a motion to have items from that van either tested or retested for DNA evidence that attorneys believe could yield post-conviction discovery in this decades-old case. All of this coming years after the family of Scott Peterson has been working to get him a new trial. Last year, Peterson's sister-in-law, Janie, showed me her war room in Southern California in which she and other supporters have laid out all these photos of evidence and a timeline on the walls showing what they say points to a burglary that happened across the street that may have included a van parked outside of P the Peterson's home the day that Lacey vanished. So Lacey Peterson and her unborn child, as we all remember, were recovered from the the shoreline of the San Francisco Bay in 2003. Investigators say Scott Peterson dumped her body during a fishing trip, but Peterson's family say the burglars are the ones who placed her there, knowing the fishing trip was Peterson's alibi to frame him. We have reached out to Lacey Peterson's family repeatedly for comment, have not heard back. This story, Nicole, 20 years later, continues. It really does. And Laura, I know you've had a chance to, to speak with some of the former investigators in the case. What are they saying about this van? Right. You know, I called them because, as we said, we looked at these photos, and this was something that wasn't really brought up or talked about back then. And they said that it was not either on their radar or they didn't have it in their notes. But they say, look, if there is DNA evidence in this orange van, please, by all means, test it, because it could lead to a different crime. But they strongly believe it will not show anything of Lacey Peterson because they believe they have the right person in custody. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll certainly see what happens. All right, Laura, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.